All right, so here we go. So we're going to start with um, launching programs. Wait, oh yeah, that's not what I wanted. Um, so launching programs, as you can see, I've prepped a lot for this this section, um, but it's it's very easy. Import sub process. Still chapter fifteen. This is still chapter fifteen. Sub process is what allows Python to open files, open executables. So what you're going to do is I'm going to give you guys the very brief. This is how you do it, and then we'll go over it on Friday. And then I'll give you guys a decent amount of homework over the weekend because we've had zero all week, uh, specifically with multi-threading and opening stuff. If your computer doesn't work like Nick's, um, I'll provide you one. Or maybe not for the weekend, but hopefully I'll fix your computer by tomorrow. So import sub-process. What we're going to do, sub yeah, sub-process. So we go sub-process.open. Pro, and in here, I'll do r... This is the file location of the program we want to open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I want to open drawboard PDF. Apparently it's not letting me right click on it. More. You need to find the actual place where it's located um, and open file location. So we're going to have it open Spotify. And what you do is you find the shortcut if it's on your desktop and you go uh, open file location and you just keep doing that until you get to the spot the blank dot exe so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go okay so this is in that place I'm gonna copy it come in here paste slash spotify dot exe then when I run it Oh, it's P-open, not open, Popin. <laughs> Voila, it opens Spotify. So if you want to write for your final a code that opens a, uh, that opens a program, this is what you would need to do. What you could then do is Okay, well on the screen we want to find the made for you playlist, the made for you, and we want to click on daily mix one. You can find that and then have it start playing a song. Right? And, and every day and oh and every day it'd be different because your daily mix changes every single day. So that's a really cool idea. I don't think anyone's opened Spotify, but what they've done is they've opened like my email. So it opens my email, and there are certain things that if you're like, <laughs> what? We do get to reading email with Python, though. Maybe. But um, you can have it open. All right, I'm, you guys are judging my music, so I'm putting that down. Um, you guys, shh, open your email. It can open Spotify. And then when we get to uh, automating the user interface, you can then have it click up here and then drag it oh, over skirt. here. And then have it, you know, go <laughs> here to open, you know, my home, this or whatever. So you can have it resize. The thing I will say about resizing is try to use percentages, not exact pixels. Um, I think you can do it with percentages. Um, we'll get to that in the book when we get there. But um, otherwise, if my screens are much bigger than yours so if I'm using my monitor in my office to grade your final and you guys are using and I try to take that into account like you guys are coding on a much smaller screen um, it's just better if you can use the two's percentages yes Michael yeah so it's just sub process dot popin and then the the location of that um, I can't do that. You have to put so so guys, real quick. One, you guys don't need to pack up yet. If you guys only copy and paste this up here, this is the file location, not the actual executable. So you, what you need to do is you need to copy this up here, the file location, and then also put 
the executable, the name of the executable at the end of your file location. If you don't, just like we did with opening and closing PEX files, if you just have the directory, it won't open that file. We'll get to tomorrow opening Python with Python. Yeah. So you can so you can open Python and then have it search and open a different code. So open a different script. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you Friday. Like I said, there will be a decent amount of homework over the weekend, FYI. Just say some of my work today.